selfish. My turn to make the rounds. No looking at my cards while I'm gone, Philo. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Who else is in here? <laughs> Megan, I'm loving your new boots. You have to tell me where you got them. Thanks, Misty. They're made from 98% recycled milk cartons. There's only two pair in the entire city. And they're made from recycled something or other, which is cool because I want to save the trees and fossil fuels and stuff. Hmm. Tammy, what are you doing with my boots? Check it out, girls. Looks like my ultra chic boots have spawned a desperate trend chaser. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna rip off someone's look, I don't recommend doing it with El Cheapo imitations. <laughs> These boots are not fakes! And for the record, I bought them first! Megan Clark, please report to the principal's huh? office. Megan Clark, Great. to the principal's now office, what? please. Catch you later, Misty. Hello? Principal Shields? Did you want to see me? <laughs> oh! So much for my unique and original look! Oh! oh! <laughs> look what the wind blew in. You guys fell for Jerry's tricks again, too? Yep. Wind tunnel. I fall for all of Jerry's tricks. <clears throat> well then, let's get down to business, shall we? I have a mission unlike any Whoop has ever encountered. A bank was robbed last night in front of security officers, but there's not a single clue as to who perpetrated the crime. But if it was robbed right in front of security, how could there not be a clue? Watch for yourselves. Show yourself now! <laughs> you are kidding! It's like a ghost stole the loot! Which makes sense, I don't think ghosts leave clues. <laughs> if you catch a ghost, can you even put handcuffs on it? <laughs> I'd like you to investigate to see if there's a more realistic explanation first, Spies. And to help you on your mission, here are the following gadgets. The press-on expanding monobrow face shield, the spring-loaded lariat, and the super sucky clue vacuum. <laughs> you call this a gadget? It doesn't look like it could suck up a dust bunny. Whoa! Make it stop! Make it stop! <sighs> you should get a muzzle for that thing, Jerry. It's a menace. <laughs> 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 Perhaps you'll be more impressed with this. The new improved Whoop van. Equipped with all-terrain wheels. Nice! Buckle up, guys! I'll drive! No. no! Nothing personal, bro, but we've all been tossed around enough for one day. One day you show up to get it and there's nothing left. I've seen your empty piggy bank. I don't think it's possible to lose what you don't have. And I didn't think it was possible for a crime scene to have zero clues. But apparently there's a first for everything. I told you guys ghosts did it. Huh? Spies, there's another very similar crime in progress in Paris. Megan, Tony, please go check it out. With pleasure. This crime scene has no leads anyway. Ooh, that's where my cool boots are made. I wonder what other fashionable clothes I might find there. <laughs> Whooping. Glad we get to stay here. <laughs> Either there's a big cheese sale going on, or we're right near the scene of the crime in progress. <laughs> <laughs> someone robbed that jewelry store. Maybe the same someone who robbed the bank. <laughs> Come on, we better bail out the police before they get hurt. <laughs> Our invisible someone is leaving some ugly footprints. How can someone run up the side of a building? We've got to get up there and stop this creep. Doesn't Whoop have a robot that can get down here and search the floor for clues? My back's killing me. Ugh. 
It's not a robot, but we have this. The super sucky clue vacuum. I don't know how effective that would be at giving massages. Ah, <sighs> there's a fine line between being a spy and a maid these days. <gasps> Turn it off! Super sucky? We're just lucky this thing didn't mangle us. Looks like it's clogged. Good thing for us. Is this skin of some sort? Finally, a clue. Let's hurry and get it back to Whoop. Whoever was hurling stuff down at us must have been right about here. Look for dirty footprints. Huh? Hey, I found something even better. A diamond. My piggy bank is looking a lot fuller now. Huh? Wait, that's mine. I found it fair and square. Ah! Tony, it's the Dirty Feet Bandit! Grab him before he gets away again! <laughs> this is like trying to catch smoke! I can't feel him anywhere! Stand back, bro. Let the spring-loaded lariat do the heavy lifting. <laughs> ha! Now we got you, Mr. You Can't See Me! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> uh -oh. What is that? I can't see! This one's full of dirty tricks. Follow my voice. I'm over here. Take my hand. Hey, let go of me. Put me down. Tony, where are you? Megan! Tony? Tony? Just hold still a little longer, Megan. You're a lucky spy. We've just invented the antidote to that particular substance. I wish we could get this to Tony. He gets afraid of the dark. He doesn't even like to blink too often. Since you're dealing with such a dangerous villain, I'm giving you all portable antidotes. I just hope we're able to find Tony before... <gasps> it's Mom! Hey, Mom. Uh, uh, what's up? Lee, I want you to make sure everyone comes home tonight for dinner on time. Especially Tony. In fact, hand him the phone. I want to tell him myself. Um, uh... <gasps> Tony, are you there? Huh? Why, certainly, Mother. I'm here. Now, what's your concern? Don't get smart with me, Tony. I want you to be home for dinner on time tonight. I'm fed up with you always being late. Understand? Loud and clear. You may anticipate my punctual arrival. Tony, I said not to get smart. Okay, Mom. We'll see you later. Wonderful voice simulator. I should be a professional impersonator. I sounded just like Tony. Yeah, just like Tony. After a thousand classes and good manners. Let's check out our clues so we can track down the little guy. Here's the weird skin-like substance we found at the bank. Hey, where'd it go? Our clue is gone. It took us forever to find it the first time. Most fascinating. I believe it's still there. It's just blending into the background. I'll do a more in-depth analysis of this. I've also got a clue. Whatever we chased around the crime scene left footprints, and I got a picture. Ooh, that's someone's foot. I feel bad for them when they have to buy shoes. Not to worry. I'll enhance the picture with a little whoop magic. It looks like some sort of animal footprint. There's not even five toes. Were we chasing a big lizard of some sort? Maybe. This skin has all the properties of chameleon skin, but it's synthetic. You mean we're chasing a guy in a giant chameleon suit? Well, that would explain why we couldn't see it. It was blending into each and every background. And it might explain where that blinding fluid came from. Certain reptiles can produce such an agent. But what would a guy in a chameleon suit want with money and jewels? Even reptile impersonators have to eat, I would imagine. Too bad this doesn't get us any closer to finding our poor little bro or catching the bad guy. The best thing for now is for you to head back to school. I'll monitor things from here and let you know when there's a break in the case. Dude, it just seems wrong to be here at school when our little bro is lost out there somewhere. I totally agree, but you heard what Jerry said. He knows best. Oh, cool. There's Megan. I need to borrow a dollar from her for lunch. Hey, Megan, can I... What do you mean, Megan? Clearly your wannabe sister could never pass for me. Why don't you go get some glasses, dead muffin? Tammy, what are you doing? First you steal my boots, now you steal my hair? That rat's nest on your head looks nothing like my latest, most fabulousest, straight out of the hottest Parisian fash mags hairdo. Rat's nest, huh? Where'd you get that weave, you scalp your stuffed pony? What? <laughs> Not good. 
Those rejects are gone. Nice try, Megan, but you can't avoid a mission by simply using a body double. But I wasn't trying to avoid a mission, Jerry. No time to argue. There's another crime in progress, and I want you to get to the scene immediately. Is it our villain? All indications are that it is. Take this super fly tracker, just in case. <gasps> this tracker is super fly. Come on, team. Hmm. Whoa! International Gold Reserve Building. This chameleon guy sure likes his bling. Oh. Oh. No alarms. This lizard guy's good at what he does. Oh. It's that blinding spray. Activate your press-on expanding monobrow face shield. Cool gadget. This could also work as a lacrosse helmet. What did you do with our little brother? Don't worry, he's safe. I've been nurturing him on a steady diet of Flies. He's on the move. Let's go. I better unleash the superfly on him before we lose him for good. Mmm. Nothing like a tasty snack on the go. The trail disappeared. Don't tell me this guy can fly too. He can run from us, but he can't run from the tracker. Nice. Be a good little lizard now and lead us to Tony. Let's follow in the van. According to my MP com, the tracker is inside, which means so is our chameleon guy. And probably Tony. Maybe it's a good thing Tony can't see. He hates caves. The signal's getting stronger. We're really close. <sighs> Tony? Ew, stinky athlete's foot. Lee, is that you? This should help clear things up, little bro. Ugh, this is the freakiest thing I've ever seen! Are we really that ugly? How nice of you to visit my habitat. <laughs> Wait a second, you're just an ordinary guy in a fancy suit? That suit's more than just fancy. This guy's got Jerry beat in the gadget department. Yeah, that could really come in handy when I get home late and want to avoid the rents. I find my Camo 3000 suit extremely helpful in being the greatest supervillain ever. Why a chameleon suit? Why not just wear a suit with the camouflaging effect? I like chameleons. Got a problem with that? Like I used to, they blend into society, but now everyone has to take notice. Duh, you blend in even more in that hot, sweaty suit. How's anyone gonna notice? The suit's a thing of the past, thanks to my latest creation. An under-the-skin microchip that gives all the attributes of a chameleon without the suit! <laughs> I am Chameleon! Hear me hiss! Oh, impressive. But dude, do you really gotta eat flies? Isn't that taking it a bit too far? I'm taking it much further. Once I eliminate you and Whoop, no one will stand in my way. I'll have all the money I need to create a race of super chameleons! <laughs> oh, I haven't sweated this hard since my last report card. Now would be a perfect time for a Whoop popsicle. Too bad they don't exist yet. But what about our boot reactors? Try to turn them on, spies. <laughs> Stop cyber smoothies. Afternoon, Frank. Don't let Jerry work it too hard. looks cool here. Maybe we beat Leon to the punch. Guess again! We gotta get inside! 
Access denied. The retinal scanner isn't working. That lunatic lizard must have disabled it. <laughs> Jerry, are you there? Mark, there's been a breach at Whoop and... Ah! Man, usually we get into Whoop even when we don't want to. What now? We take a different approach. Hmm. Well, don't just stand there and let a girl do all the hard work. Come on! Chameleons are normally docile creatures. You're really giving a bad name to the species. Which isn't to say aggressiveness can't be a virtue in the animal world. <laughs> Let's take a slice out of this cold-blooded creep's crime spree. Nice gadget, Jerry. Works for spies and villains. This guy's got gadgets now. He's a one-man army. Or a one lizard army. Yeah, well, we've got gadgets too. <laughs> Wait, uh, can I get a little help here? Warning, outer power core perimeter has been breached. Warning. Whoop's core! If he damages Whoop's power source, it'll release seismic waves equal to 1,000 earthquakes. We better split up and beat him to the core. Megan, come with me. He could already be in here and we'd never know. Ha! Sounds like trouble. You go that way, I'll go this way. Hey, let us out! Whoa! This mission is turning into a real circus! Don't you just hate when your own gadgets are used against you? <laughs> Hang around! This is gonna get good. <laughs> Let's see. The acid spray tropical lace should do the trick. That freaky fly eater is actually going through with it. We'll all be vaporized. <laughs> You're not blinding me again. I'll see to that. Oh, great. What does Mom want? Hello? Tony, I am just making sure you're keeping your word and coming home on time tonight. What? I never said I'd be home for dinner on time. Uh, no offense to your cooking or anything. I told you not to get smart with me, Tony. I have had enough of your act. <laughs> <gasps> the super clingy smoke curtain might help. <laughs> I can't take it off! <laughs> It's called a level playing field, chump! And this is called destroying the playing field! The freezicalizer might have something to say about that! <laughs> not so tough now, are you? Guess that's why lizards live in the desert and not the North Pole. Thank goodness the core is still intact. That was as close a call as I've ever seen for Whoop. Yeah, well, now that Loser Leon is on ice, maybe you should beef up security around here, Jer. Guess again. He shed his skin and gave us the slip. Jerry, you better lock down Whoop. He could be anywhere. Attention all agents! Scour the entire premises immediately! I'm not finished with you! and so many freaks were jumping on my bandwagon. The things I do to keep this school on the cutting edge of fashion. Oh. oh. What do you think you're doing stealing my look? You've taken wannabeism to a new level! Uh, clearly you're the one who stole my look. 
Wait! You stole my voice, too? Duh! How can you steal someone's voice? <laughs> Obviously, you're just trying to act like me. Stop it! Stop using my voice right this instant! How sad and desperate, Tammy. Just give up. Wait, let's get this is so strange. Wait! Where are you going? She's the one that stole my look! Honest! Come back here! Wait! Sometimes it's good to be a spy. <laughs> 